Texas High School football coach's wife, Abby here, and we gotta feed some boys tomorrow morning, and I have just the ticket for a cheap and easy make-ahead meal. French toast casserole, it feeds a crowd. Let's go. Firstly, I went to the Dollar Tree and bought two big aluminum pans. I'm gonna spray those with some cooking spray. Next, I have four big things of bread that I left out on the counter all day to get crunchy crispy and I'm going to cube it up. What I'm gonna do is tear the bread up into bite-sized pieces and this is so easy. You can even get the kids to help you although mine are still at the sub varsity game so I'm just gonna do it real quick. All right, so I've got my bread all tore up. My next step is to crack 18 eggs per pan into a bowl. So I'm going to start that and tell you what I love about this recipe. For around $15, this gives probably about 60 people a serving. It makes a lot of food. It is really simple. It's like milk, eggs, bread, butter, sugar. Okay, so like you have the ingredients easily accessible. And it's a comfort classic that most people really like. Serve some sausage or something on the side and you're all Probably the most amazing part though is this make ahead. It sits best overnight in your fridge so then you can just turn the oven on in the morning. Two pans this size are gonna take about an hour and 30 minutes to cook. So you wanna allow that accordingly. They're gonna cook at 350, but at least the work is done ahead of time. Once you have those 18 eggs nice and scrambled, you're gonna add two cups of regular old granulated sugar. We wanna make it sweet y'all. We're gonna add five cups of whole milk. One cup of heavy whipping cream. Cinnamon and vanilla, measure with your heart. We're gonna give this a little mixy mix and then we're gonna pour it over one of the pans and repeat the process for the second pan. You want to make sure all your bread gets nice and soaked in this egg mixture. So in my humble opinion, the topping is the best part of this entire French toast casserole. Per giant pan, you're going to need one cup of butter, cold and cut into squares, one cup of flour, one cup of powdered sugar, and a couple of teaspoons of cinnamon. Once you get this mixture looking like shaggy wet sand, you know it's time to crumble it over the top of each casserole. This is like magic dust. It's what dreams are made of. It's gonna get crispy and crumbly in the oven in the morning. Yum. We're gonna cover each of these pans with aluminum foil and put them in the fridge overnight. In the morning, you're gonna take them out to a preheated oven, 350, for I would say 70 to 90 minutes until they're set through. Enjoy.